Hello everybody, uh, welcome, it's your boy Logic, and we're coming back with some Total War Warhammer 2. And today we're going to continue our campaign quest battle series with Eltharion on the Grim. So today we're going to be playing Talisman of Hoeth. So we pop in here. This is going to be a battle where Eltharion has to stop the forces of chaos from destroying the Great Vortex. So perhaps in this, uh, in this battle we'll be having uh, some magic abilities from the Great Vortex, but we'll see. Uh, looks like we're going to be fighting up against a normal lord, two units of chaos warriors, aspiring champions, four units of chaos marauders with great weapons, uh, chaos warriors, and two units of marauder horsemen. So we're going to have lots of AP damage here, so anything that we have that has armor is going to suffer here. So we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that. So let's jump into the battle and see what we get. So it looks like we got a wizard of high magic, we got two silver in guard. Spearmen, and we got four units of spearmen, two units of white lions, seven units of range, two units of war lions, a flame fire phoenix, and a artillery piece. Ha! Kinsmen, it is now clear that the weakening of the talisman was not without reason. The medallion's connection to the ancient waystones has revealed a dire fate. This ruinous host of chaos seeks to destroy this waystone and all others that protect Althwa. Our proximity to it shall grant us its power, but it also nourishes our foes. The keepers of the stones send aid from the mountain pass to the north, but the river will not slow these twisted beings for long. We must hold this position to the last. If we fail, Ivres will fall, and all Althuan will be next. The fate of the Vortex, nay, the entire world, rests on our shoulders. It will suffice! Well, there we go. So it looks like we have a bit of a choke point here. Maybe, maybe a bit of flanking on the sides. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to stick our spearmen, spearmen here. Acknowledge. Up in the middle like that. Oh, no, a on. We will there. obey. Let's get these guys forward. March. Put those in a group. As you say. And then we're going to grab our range units and we're going to put those behind. Orders received. Loyal. The Silver and Guard are some of the new units. Praised. They've been up. They're upgraded spearmen, so they come with increased melee defense. So we have a look here. They have increased melee defense, weapon strength. They also have increased melee attack. Hit points and all sorts of things. And another big one is uh, armor and leadership. So they'll hold a lot longer, they'll do a lot better, and they should perform against the units. Uh, they came in with Altharion when he came in with Gron the Ball. Altharion! So we'll get Altharion at the front and we'll get our wizard at the front. So, for those who don't know, Altharion is also a name. wizard as well. So he's sort of a he's sort of the wizard that also has um, good melee stats as well. So 73 melee attack, 67 melee defense. 125 armor. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's he's pretty good. Uh, he's very very Understood. expensive on multiplayer. March. I don't see him often picked just because of how expensive willing. he is, but he, he's very good. Right, let's get you guys here. These guys are going to get ready to charge in case they push the line. So we want these guys to fight in the water, Spearman. ideally. Understood. What we want. The reason Loyal. being is they'll get uh, negative and we won't. Assyrian guides us. Spearmen acknowledged without fail. Acknowledged for order. Get these guys Glory fighting. Right. Not. We're also going to get our wizard forth. here to drop a wind blast down the front line. And Louis, uh, we'll get and Louis. We're also going to grab our flame five phoenix over here, charge in with her, and use its use its fire ability. It will be done. Put it onto multi shot and chuck that at For the more the horsemen. Right, let's get you down that line. Let's get you down it. Go. We get lots of value here. Wonderful. And then what we'll do is we'll chuck you just here. We don't be shooting my war lines. Yeah, you'll back it off. Perfect. So let's, let's jump into some of the new units Archers. here. So we it have Sentinels. So these guys are so the light blue ones are exclusive to only Eltharion's um, campaign. So exclusive to him only. So we have Sentinels and we have the Skyhawks. So 
the Scarlet Hawks are bonus for, uh, maybe anti-infantry actually, anti-infantry um, archers. I don't think they have as much ammunition as normal archers, but they are anti-infantry with their missile strength and with their weapon strength. Sentinels have the most range in the game for arch units, I believe. I could be wrong, but they have armor sundering and armor piercing, so they're going to be very good against heavily armored units. So it looks like we have reinforcements here and reinforcements there for these guys. So let's send White our lions. back line here. That's why Make I always keep units proud. behind. I always keep them behind because you, you never know. Let's send these guys forward. Um, Atharion needs to come back. Asurian sends me. Let's get the artillery Eagle piece crawl. shooting into the middle of the horsemen. The let's get Artharion over here. What I'm going to do, actually, these it guys are quite low, so let's send these guys over Move. here. Uh, other than that, they look pretty good. These guys are all going to come back, that's fine. So we've got another unit over here. White right, lions. Let's, let's move up and give ourselves a bit of room. Count all hounds, let's get straight into those. Send you forward. You can come forward. For duty. You come over here. Over here. So these guys are anti-infantry armor piercing. The uh, white lions are chased there, brand new as well with Artharion. Eltharion. Artharion in here, let's get him in as well. We're going to hold these guys back, White is what we're going to do. Without fail. Uh, the shoot into the Tamir all. Warriors here, and then we're going to get the birds here onto the Northern Berserkers. So they've chased off the uh, Chaos Warhounds, so we use them to now help with these. Gives us ourselves a bit of room. If we do lose here, we have the ability now to uh, have a bit of room to change around our forces. So this force has come back, which is fine. Loyal. We will obey. I'll use Hellwind Skull here just to finish these guys off. That should be enough. There we go. That will spearmen. do. We'll drop our spearmen back just to hold this line here. So we do have a secondary force coming in. So we should have uh, some reinforcements. Ah, they have a cannon over there. So they have a hell cannon. We should be getting some forces in here somewhere, I believe. It did say that it looked like a Google force was going to come in to help. Uh, I hope to it does. Fray. Okay, so these guys are losing um, to the Royal of the Berserkers. Okay, that's quite interesting. It's not, our, it's not our Phoenix lost as well. That's very, very interesting. Um, Eltharion. Can we heal? We should be able to heal and should be able to come back. Empowered yeah, by vengeance. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the eagle actually towards the hell cannon. We as need you these say, guys shooting as much as possible into the their lord here. Without fail. Asur, advance. May. I'm going to use her magic to drop a spell just here. Like so. To my will. So it looks like Robert. he got into the back line. I'm not As sure you how say, that happened. We will obey. Um, it will be done. Arthur, attack! Okay, so this time we're losing over the. Ah, so here we go. Here's the force. Uh, that's a pretty elite force. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's get. Let's use our ability here and use this. Here. So he's got the helmet of. Uh, the might helmet of Ibris. That makes the entire the entire unit can't die and it's unbreakable. We also have this, which increases rate of reserves, but increases miscast chance by 100%. So we have to be careful there. Let's heal ourselves up. Rises. So it looks like we shut down the cannon, which is good. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, I'm going to drop the Thunderbolt on top of these guys as well. We also have Psychon, Harmonic Convergence and Curse of Midnight Wound. That's very good. I do like that spell. Uh, Air of Effect Understood. as well. Uh, just shoot Sinner. into the front here. Right, let's get our anti-infantry guys at the front. And Loyal. Let's get the Sentinel shooting on the Forsaken. For they have good ancestors. armor, I believe. For duty. At least 90 Seal. armor, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's at least 90 armor. For duty. Let's get these guys it in shall the be front. Done. I know they're archers, but they haven't got any range anymore. So let's get them utilized. So we've got an Arcane uh, Frostfire Phoenix here. Um, white Lions! Our White Lions are fighting against Chaos Warhounds. I'm most likely to lose there, unfortunately. Pull back. Right, I need Eltharion. Where did Eltharion go? Eltharion! He's here. Okay. Let's get uh, Boots in and use our Winds of Magic to get that back. It goes back very quickly. Uh, so you get one recharge rate unless okay, that's very very quick. That's very good. Spearmen. Right, so the chaos born are unbreakable. So let's kill Order. those. Uh, our frostfire phoenix will finish this off. Orders received. Okay, the forsaken are dead. 
Um, we also have a unit of the mere warriors. Let's get on to these guys. Eltharion! Show no fear! Right, so we're also going to put a nice amount of healing on the Eltharion. Guided by Waystones! Empowered by vengeance! Perfect. I think this fight is in what? our in our nice. control here, I think. Spearmen! It's really nice. This is a really cool force that's coming in. So it looks like we have a noble, two nobles, Flame Five Phoenix, Frost Heart Phoenix, and who's the Lord? Oh, that's, that's my Lord. They do have a Lord here. Uh, so it's, uh, it's Gendalf, the. Uh... Oh, and they have an Arcane Phoenix. Fantastic. So Arcane Phoenix is a new monster as well. Archers. That came into the game. For duty. Understood. Okay, so that cannon's gone, that's good. They're, they're, they've all shattered, so you guys can come back. I need to go over here. Let's deal with these guys. Let's, uh, we don't need to pop that just yet, even though we're out of Winter Magic. Um, let's heal up Eltharion again, just to make sure he doesn't break. Ah, and that is them shattered, I believe. Yep, that's a complete shatter, so that's fantastic. Well, um... Well, that's interesting, guys. Uh, I really enjoyed this battle. Uh, this is really good. So this makes complete sense. So it gives us 72 power reserves. And look, look, it just goes up so quickly. This makes sense, considering you've got two mages. It makes complete sense. So Tharion came in with Grom the Paunch in that uh, DLC, for those that don't know. And these guys are campaign exclusives. So you won't see these guys in multiplayer, for those that might not know what these are. Uh... Uh, Warline, Warlines came in as well. They're they're pretty good. 82 speed, uh, good weapon strength, bonus verse. I think it's bonus verse. Oh no, the anti infantry armor piercing. So that's uh, they're very good units. I do like these a lot. Uh, Flame Five Phoenix as per usual, um, and the Silver and Guard. Yeah, I do like Silver and Guard. They are very strong. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this battle, guys. As you can see, cinematically, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the well spoken uh, man himself, Atharion, was saying, you know, we are the last standing guys. Against the um, against the vortex, you know we are the last standing. If we go down, the whole world's in jeopardy. You know that sort of um, that sort of storyline. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, this has actually been a really good battle. It has lots and lots of cool new units. So those that haven't played this, I would recommend it. And if you're thinking about getting the DLC, or or if you have got the DLC, this is something I would recommend playing. I've enjoyed this actually. It's really good. And actually, these are definitely one of my favourite units. Where are they? The uh, Sentinels are definitely one of my favourite units. They're really, really, really good units. Uh, they're good for almost anything. I can't think of a single thing they're weak against. They've got more range than most archery units. Uh, they have armor sundering and armor piercing, missile strength, uh, bonus first, large, um, good armor, silver shield, 55% uh, for uh, uh, range resistance. Uh, and they've got 54 melee defense, so even if you do get one charge in the side, it's going to be a while before they break with their armor and their melee defense. So they're actually a really, really good unit. Let's hop here into the analysis. So these are sort of forces you get. So it seems that Norsk came in to help with the chaos here. And we have Keepers of the Stones. So I wonder if that's something particularly lore-wise. I'm not too sure about that. But yep, as we can see here with Arthur on the Grim, he was going up against Lords, so that's where his value came from. She got lots of value there using uh, her spells and Thunderbolts, lots and lots of damage. Also, Atharion used his Winds of Magic to heal himself, so although that would have increased his damage value from what he put out, you won't see the healing val value to himself. Uh, as you can see, the Sentinels here did tremendous. Combined, they're doing 40k damage. And they're getting about four thousand value, and they still had, they still had uh, ammunition left, and they hadn't even gone to melee, and they hadn't lost any units. So they're very good. I also really like the Skyhawk units, the ability that they have anti-infantry as well, as well as their missiles are anti-infantry. Very, very good. And as we know, archers always do get, always getting their value. Uh, I do really like the war lions. The only issue is, is they can also be cut down pretty easily. Uh, they are pretty glass cannon as well as their high damage units as well. Um, Eagle Core Bolt Thrower didn't have to do as much as the Sentinels did quite a lot of damage as well. Uh, Flame Fire Phoenix obviously did loads of damage using its ability down the front at the beginning. Very, very good. War Lions had to go up against some very strong infantry, but they still did their job. Uh, they held up when I needed them to. And this was a really awesome, awesome battle. I actually really enjoyed this. And I hope you guys did too. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. 
and uh, comment and subscribe guys uh, that all helps the channel grow and with your comments just say what you liked about the battle what you'd like to see going forward someone has already requested the dwarfs so I'll be doing that once I finish with the high elves and um, yeah we'll be going forward like that so guys please have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video